Hello everyone, the chart guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit and we feel after watching this course it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Looking at Facebook on the daily weekly time frame, these bulls are still strong. Higher low, higher high today. Close just above the upper Bollinger Band only by two pennies. We filled the gap. 126.28. Next resistances we're looking at 127 psychological and then looking up at some previous support levels. 127.32 was a previous support now resistance then up towards 129.27. So nice move by the bulls. No other way to put it and you can speculate as to why. Obviously the tech sector is strong but Facebook has been the strongest in the tech sector over the last two weeks. It had a, a weaker start compared to others, but perhaps Q1 buyback of stock is giving a little lift to the bulls. Either way, we're closing at the high of the day for the second day in a row, and we're looking for further upside. We'll see if we can break 127 tomorrow. The weekly time frame, you can see awesome follow through for the bulls, keeping an eye for a bullish MACD here in January 2017. And there's not a ton of resistance. We are encountering some previous price levels back here, between 126.80 and 130 but there's not a ton of resistance until that all-time high 133.50 so we are currently seven dollars away from an all-time high that is about six percent from where we currently stand and that's not too far away so the bulls clearly breaking this downtrend we got a bull tcg cross on these exponential moving averages and it's been a very nice follow through here and now we have a support to be watching when we do consolidate. We know consolidation after a move like this is inevitable. But we back tested and held the 100 day moving average support. It rejected the price as resistance back in November. Now it's acting as support. That's down at 124.17. That would be the first target. Checking in on the five minute and hourly time frame, we saw a clear rejection from the 100 period five minute resistance. Another rejection on another attempt, new low of the day. Then the bulls turn that level into support. And the bulls in Facebook started their rally before SPY. We know SPY dumped. So the low of the day on Facebook was at 10.10. And we check back in on SPY. And the low of the day here was all the way at 11.05. So we saw Facebook as a lead bull, not only in the tech sector, but in everything that I was watching. I usually keep about 25, 28 tickers on my screen. And Facebook, when once we hit this new high of the day, and it actually actually ended up being a bit of a double top, but once we saw the bull strong here, put up, approaching 126, it was the clear strongest stock having already started the bounce well before the S&P 500 did. So you can see this ramp up in bull volume. Look at that bull volume there. Higher lows, higher highs, just a complete bull move. Then we consolidated, built a base of support. So we consolidated and found 126 support, 126.01, 126.03, and then we broke this little consolidation with higher highs, held the 20 period five minute support, broke out to the highs here, and still seeing strength after hours. So Facebook bulls in full control, and if you wanna see the story, look at the 10 day hourly chart, and not get much more bullish than that. 
breakout, consolidation, breakout, higher low, breakout, higher low. That's all we've been seeing over the past few days. So the bulls are in full control. What these consolidation periods do is cool off the overbought RSI. You can see the RSI is still under 70 from where we currently stand. And the bulls are looking great for at least a little more, a little more upside heading into tomorrow. But we'll follow up and finish it off here over the weekend to see how the week closes out. 127 psychological resistance, the next level. And again, you kind of have to pick and choose resistance from there. There's no clear levels. And I'll be looking up towards 130 psychological. But again, consolidation likely coming before that. I appreciate you watching. Have a good night.